This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Now that we're back in campaign mode, we get to watch Donald Trump do the thing he's famous for, is out of one side of his mouth, say something to one audience, and then out of the other side of his mouth, in this case, just hours later, say something completely different, not just different, opposite. He is a liar and a grifter and a scammer and just uh, the embodiment of terrible. He's the personification of doofusness. Is doofusness? Can we say doofusness? He's dumb shit to be sure. And there's these two clips that happened yesterday. One is him speaking in Iowa about how he doesn't like woke. He doesn't like the word woke. And everybody's talking about woke. He doesn't like it because no one even knows what it is. No one can even define it. This, I believe, is an attack on Ron DeSantis because Ron DeSantis is making it hit. It's a, it's a feature of his personality to say, uh, Florida, where woke goes to die. If you go woke, you go broke. All these stupid sayings like they're Johnny Cochran uh, during OJ's trial coming up with little little rhymes, like if it doesn't fit, it, it, you must quit and all this. So here's Trump, and then, then we got a very brief clip of him just hours later saying the exact opposite thing. Watch this from Iowa. It's gone sick. And I don't like the term woke because I hear woke, woke, woke. You know, it's like just a term that use half the people can't even define it. They don't know what it is. I don't like the term woke, 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 woke. You can't, nobody can define it. Nobody knows what it is. Then hours later, like six, seven hours later, he's saying, he's talking about the military and apparently his old opinion about not liking the word woke is now transformed because he's using it in a disparaging manner about the military and other things. Watch this. Right. A lot of things going on with our military, with the woke and all this nonsense. They're not, they're not learning to fight and protect us from some very bad people. They want to go woke. They want to go woke. That's all they talk about now. I see letters that are being sent. It's horrible. I mean, it's really a, a serious problem. That would end immediately. So, again, in classic Trump fashion, hates woke, doesn't like the word woke, doesn't want to talk about woke, and also loves woke. The military is woke. Let me dispel the myth about our military being woke. They're not even being trained how to fight. Remember when he was running for, for, for office, uh, no one has ammunition anymore. We, we, there's no ammunition. When he took office, the, there was no bullets. There were no bombs. <laughs> Which I'm sure is a shock to the United States military industrial complex with the $1 trillion almost uh, annual budget a thousand billion dollars spent on our military during peacetime every single year. But they're not training to fight because they're so woke. Who buy who who buys into this? Who believes this? I mean, it's a rhetorical question to which I know the answer. Fox News audiences. QAnon idiots, people who are desperate to believe Donald Trump is like the second coming, some political Christ figure. Some literally believe this. This is just a glimpse of what we have in store for us as we move into the 2024 election. And it's going to be, um, as it looks right now, a battle between Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis and whatever Ron DeSantis says that he believes and he's going to battle against and what's going to be his campaign and presidential priority is the opposite of what Donald Trump's going to do. Ron DeSantis talks about Medicare and, and Medicaid and Social Security and the cuts that need to happen. And Donald Trump says, I will never cut Social Security. But rest assured, if Ron DeSantis said the opposite, if he said, oh, we need to protect it, Donald Trump would say there needs to be cuts. Donald Trump is talking, he won't answer on abortion. He's, he's really trying to play the middle of the road, which is an impossible gambit for Donald Trump, who has cemented himself as the radical that he is. There's going to be no way to walk back from the policy prescriptions, the actual policies that were put in place, and this, the many statements of Donald Trump. They're going to try real hard, but I don't see that it's going to work. Anyway, 
I would love to know what you think. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always daily at dollamore.com. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do. I am in a push, a, uh, a furious push toward, uh, by the end of the year to get to half a million subscribers. 500,000 is the goal. And it's only with your subscription to the show and this channel that I'm going to be able to get there. Um, if you want to support in another way, if after you've subscribed, you can click the join button, become a channel member. That's different than subscribing. You can click the super thanks button, or you can go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore just about everywhere, and I'm going to see you next time. Uh, I love you guys. I appreciate your engagement and your passion for the country. Be genuine. Take care of one another.